Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick from The Great Adventure and today we are doing another full-time family RV tour. Right behind me here we have a Class A which belongs to the Axnesses, another full-time family that we met over a year ago and we've been camping with them for the last couple days down here in the Keys. As you'd expect, the weather is absolutely gorgeous, uh, but we're here to talk about their RV and give you an introduction to them. So let's go inside and meet them and take a look at their house. Welcome, we are the Axness family. We are a family of four who travel full time and you are in our Class A motorhome. We have been traveling for, and this is up for debate, so hold on. Uh, this year, or this month marks our third year on the road. There we go, I never get it right. Well, you guys are in our motorhome. This is a new to us motorhome because before this, we actually had a fifth wheel. So we're still kind of getting used to this motorhome. Um, do you want to tell them what else we have attached to the back? Um, we tow our uh, Hyundai Elantra on a car dolly behind this. Two up, so... Yeah, front wheels up. Front wheels up. We also have two kids and we homeschool them on the road. Um, we have a four-year-old and a six-year-old. So we have a kindergartner and now a second grader. And a dog. We have a dog as well. We have a dog. Her name is Sheila and she's awesome. Um, to tell you guys a little bit about our lifestyle, we work on the road. We uh, work for a network marketing company called Young Living Essential Oils. So if you guys need any essential oils, let us know. Um, but we're health and wellness educators. Um, and do you want to tell them what you did before that? Uh, I used to be a firefighter paramedic and you used to? I used to own a business. I've always kind of been an entrepreneur and so um, turns out I just found a company that I really loved and we decided to work 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 and we're at the top of that company now which gives us the ability to travel and work on the road. Uh, we have a YouTube channel and you should definitely go and check us out. We are Project Trek. That's youtube.com forward slash Project Trek. You can go check us out um, and we're really excited to show you guys around. So this is the front of the motorhome. This is kind of the uh, driving area. Normally when we're going down the road these seats are turned around. Um, it's a gas motor coach, so uh, it's a V10 Triton engine, uh, pretty standard, just bus. Um, we've got a backup camera, stereo, uh, auto leveling over here. This is kind of just like the, the command center over here. Uh, and then when we're parked, we put the dog bed back here, spin the chairs around so they kind of become seating for, for the family. Um, and then over here we've got uh, our coffee maker which is normally stowed when we're driving and our Berkey water filter. Everyone loves a Berkey, right? Uh, and then down here we do dry food storage and our Instant Pot. Again, these are kind of like the full timing staples, right? Instant Pot and Berkey. And then up here is food storage. Here we have our home reserve couch. Um, if you guys are in the market for an awesome, awesome RV couch. The home reserve couch is really, really cool. It's got all of this amazing storage. Now, obviously this is not the couch that came with the RV. We took the couch and the dinette out because we wanted some additional storage. And so the home reserve couch gave us that additional storage that we needed. Up top, we have all of our homeschooling materials in these nifty little craft made containers. These containers are awesome because they have storage at the top. We got them at Michael's and they are really great. As far as curriculums, we use the Good and the Beautiful curriculum. It's an awesome minimalist curriculum. We actually did a review video on our YouTube. So if you guys are interested in homeschooling on the road, I really feel like it's a great minimalist option and it is all stored up here. Moving on, we have our dining center slash homeschool area. Again, with the home reserve, these are ottomans that actually have additional storage in them. So they make great, great storage solutions for kids that have a lot of toys. <laughs> That's where we keep most of our toys. The dog, 
She did not come with the motor home, but I will tell you that if you don't have one of these, you everyone needs one. <laughs> we have lots of storage space above our TV. This is where we keep um, certain just internet solutions. I think we keep our Wii Boost in there. I'm not gonna open it because it's just really not that great. It's not near as good as all of this that's happening down here. This is um, a fireplace that's not emitting any heat right now because we're in Key West, Florida and that would just be crazy. But it is really cool looking. And then we have our diffuser, our Young Living Essential Oil diffuser that is diffusing purification right now. And we're really, really happy with this. And by we, I mean I. This is our residential fridge. A lot of RVs don't actually come with a residential fridge, but this is a residential fridge and we love it. Um, we have a full size like freezer storage here. And then we have a ton of space in our fridge, but the fridge is really messy, so we're not gonna go there. Here we have our propane gas stove. And we have a microwave that's great for storage. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's not something that we actually use a whole lot. The uh, microwave does have a convection oven on it, so I do use a convection oven sometimes, but most of the time we keep everything out of it. This doesn't look like it's organized. If you look at it just looking straight on, it looks like a lot of chaos, but it's not chaos, I promise you. I know what and where everything is, therefore it makes sense. We have all these amazing supplements. We have, these are Corel dishes and we bought them because we don't prefer to use plastic. We like either stainless steel or glass. And these Corel dishes you'll find at like Camping World or Amazon. And they're great because they're shatterproof, which are something you need to look into if you plan on moving your house down the road. So that ends, oh, and then of course we have cleaning supplies and yeah, that's pretty much it. So another section that we really love about our dining room is that I have these amazing little shelves. Now, my husband made these, but they are driftwood with simple L brackets that actually hold them to the wall. And it's great because it takes care of some of my essential oil storage needs, but not all. <laughs> so, we, you know whenever you are looking through motorhomes and they have all of those like boxy, weird floral valances? That's exactly what this looked like before we recovered it with some simple fabric. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, you know, I need some great ideas for covering floral valances, you just take them off, unscrew them, and staple on some fabric and you're good to go. Past the kitchen and the living area, uh, we're in where the kids' bunks are. Uh, right here is the control center, so we just covered it with a, a uh, picture on hinges because we didn't want to stare at that all day. That way we can trick people into thinking we don't live in an RV. Um, but it's just a, it's a standard control center with the slide out functions and the water heaters and everything. Um, back here is the kids bunks. Our daughter is up here, our son is down here. We let him put up uh, glow in the dark stars and whatnot. They keep some of their toys in here, but most of it is in the uh, under couch storage. And here we added uh, some storage we got from Ikea. I mean, this was really inexpensive. I think maybe five bucks. Um, and then the RV came with these accordion style shades for the window, which were just terrible because they didn't retract um, and they snapped in with a button. So I took those out and we just added uh, Ikea shades. So um, that worked out really well and we replaced a lot of shades with those. Uh, this is again Ikea storage solutions, um, mounts right to the wall and they can keep all their like crafting supplies in there. And here is the bathroom. In here we uh, hung 
like our Dyson vacuum, which I really, really recommend for RVing. It's just nice not to have a cord. Uh, and then we mounted uh, the Swiffer mop and a broom here. Makes it kind of crowded when you're sitting on the toilet, but it's just a toilet. You're going to be crowded anyway. Uh, as far as customization, we just put in these cushions for insulation and then the skylight for the shower, I took off the bottom half and put in normal uh, pink fiberglass insulation, like in a standard house. Uh, just so I feel like, or I felt like there was a lot of heat and uh, air conditioning escaping out through there. For a small bathroom like this, there's actually a fair amount of storage um, under the sink. Over here is where we keep our towels, and my wife keeps her makeup over there. And then up above the toilet, there's more storage. And behind the sink, more storage. And we added some shelving for more oils. So now on into the bedroom. We do have a door dividing us. Everyone asks us that. Do we have some separation between us and the kids? And there is a little bit of privacy, um, but that's about it. So here is the master bedroom. This is a full-size king uh, mattress, and it does lift up for storage. This is where we keep all of our backpacking gear and travel gear. Um, over here, there's a TV behind it. I think it's like a 32 inch TV. Behind it is our kids' uh, clothing. And then here is my wife's clothing. And my clothing. And this is kind of our charging station slash media cabinet. Um, I've, there's a, I put a surge protector in there, or a power strip, and so I can plug in all of our electronics and let them charge in there. That way it doesn't look cluttered out here. Above the bed, there's more storage. There's actually quite a bit. It's about a foot and a half deep and a foot tall. Uh, so much so that it doesn't all get used. And then, oh look, more oils. We installed uh, other some more IKEA shelves over there. This came with, from the factory, it came with uh, one of those big, ugly uh, valance boxes. So we just took that out and put in a standard curtain rod and a curtain with tiebacks. Because um, it's actually a, a really nice big picture window and when you're backed up to a uh, pond or the beach or whatever and you look out, it's really nice. Right now it's just woods, but it's nice. And this does open up so you can get a nice breeze through there when the weather's nice. So on drive days, this is what it looks like with all the slides in. Now the big advantage to a motorhome versus say a travel trailer or a fifth wheel is that uh, just about everything is accessible um, while we're going down the road. I think just that one cabinet behind you is inaccessible, but other than that, we have full access to the kitchen, bathroom, master bedroom. Um, yeah, I really love it because I'm able to cook dinners on the road. I don't have to worry about packing lunches. Um, we have pretty much all of the snacks and, you know, needs that we might have on the road, they're all pretty much met in the motor home. The other cool thing is that with this motor home, if we do need to stop for the night, we can start our 5,500 watt own in generator and have access to everything that we would have access to if we were connected to utilities. Yeah, we've got a freshwater tank and the generator is just like being hooked up to 50 amp power. So everything we need to pull over to Walmart parking lot is, is right here. Uh, if we're pulled up next to a, onto the curb at the, in the parking lot, we can open this main slide just to give us some more room. But otherwise, normally we just climb back there and go to sleep. And about how many hours would you say that we drive in the day? Um, we like to keep it around four to five, but I mean, we've done 
13 hour days. Because the motorhome does have so many of the necessities that you need for a long drive day, you can get a lot longer of a drive day in, in the Class A. Um, we do like to keep it between four and five hours, but you really can do so much more in the motorhome than what you can do in, say, a fifth wheel. Um, I would say the motorhome is great for uh, moving fast because we're in an area anywhere normally anywhere from five to I'd say eight days so we're moving a lot and uh, the motorhome is just it's really easy for that because you park you hit the auto level button and you don't even have to disconnect the car if you don't want to you can just climb in the back go to sleep and then yeah. wake up early next morning and get back on the road yeah we really love the um, the convenience of the motorhome um, and yeah well, thank you so much for stopping by and visiting our motorhome. Please, please definitely come and visit us on our channel and you can follow along to some of our travel adventures. Um, and we appreciate you guys coming in. Bye. So that's gonna do it for our video tour today of the Axnes' Class A RV right behind us here. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. We have a couple more video tours coming up within the next couple weeks, so make sure you check back in for those. Thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to catch you on the road.